huge one for Brad from Warburton. This is the tackle. Up end at Warburton. George North gets the pass away. Warburton will score. So this is the scene at the Wellington Regional Stadium. And here are the Welsh side as they came into this stadium. A lot of expectations around the city regarding Wales. Wayne Barnes, our referee tonight. Sam Warburton on the left here. John Smith on the right. is underway. Reese Priestland kicks out for Wales at the regional stadium in Wellington and it falls for Brousseau who hands it off to Habana. having to make a lot of tackles here in this second half as Phillips flip ball flicked here's Valentau well there's no doubt about that Wales are over Toby Valentau big defence again by the Welsh it's all on it sure is short pass Hulka The box are back. There is no doubt. It's not coming easily here for Wales, if at all. In fact, it's not coming at all because Bismarck Duplessis has it. And it's going to be hoiked into touch by Furu de Priya. And uh, the whistle goes. The game is over. What a classic it's been. But the Springboks, the defending champions, have the win by 17 points to 16. Wales and Fiji produced a scintillating spectacle four years ago in France. Look at North, comes and looking for work, comes up the middle, George North gets the pass away, Warburton will score! And Sam Warburton, this young skipper of Wales, gets their fourth try, 29 to nil. Wales into a very good spot in this tournament. Very good form to take through to the quarterfinals. Kia ora and welcome to Wellington, where the first of the quarterfinal matches is upon us. An all-Celtic clash between two of the form teams of the pool phase, Ireland and Wales. Craig Joubert, the referee. Gets the countdown from the crowd. And the first of the quarterfinals of Rugby World Cup 2011 kicks off in Wellington. This is the finish, this is the tackle. Upended Warburton. Charteris over the top. Wales have got it. And the dangerous Fellatau, close. It's on. Now half penny up from fullback Williams. Shane Julian Williams Trump, has gone in in the corner. But it's Wales Day. End of touch. Wales through. Wales, the first team into the semi-finals of Rugby World Cup 2011. Wales against France. Yes, welcome to our live coverage from Eaton Park of the first semi-final at the Rugby World Cup in 2011. Dusatwa and Warburton, two of the standout players at this Rugby World Cup. France have won the toss. They will play right to left as we see it. And Wales will kick off. And the referee sounds the whistle the first semi-final is underway at the rugby world cup and france make the clearance and it's not a particularly good one they look as though they may be interested in running this line out ball if they can do it right and yashvili takes it back in all right uh -oh. hello it's not good here.
Well, you can see why Dussatois is upset. Let's take time out. Really. Take time out. Here's Warburton. It's Fonson Clerc, and oh no, that's not good. I'm so, unfortunately for Warburton there, that is very, very dangerous. So we're just trying to work out what colour the card was. Well, he's off. He's, he's, he's got red. OK, have you had a word? Two. Two. Have you had a word? Have you had a word with them? Here's another look at it. And the minute that you lift somebody up into that angle, you're entering into very dangerous territory. There's the signal and there's the red card. Oh my goodness, this is such a disappointment, not only for Wales, but Sam Warburton. Haven't been in this territory for a while. Phillips. Phillips! Now a chance to maybe open it up. Jones gets the call. Ball lost behind, snapped up by the French. Of all people, Jamie Roberts. That might be enough. They'll scramble this into touch. They can't wait to get it into touch. They do so. France go to the final, as they do every 12 years. And they are through to the final by nine points to eight. A World Cup fixture which has been marked in the diary for the best part of three years. The atmosphere will tell its own story. England versus Wales has always been important in these parts. Today, it has a worldwide significance. Here we are at Twickenham for the game that everybody wants to see. Host England against Wales. It's bigger for Wales. Australia, the whole of the Welsh back row did it, including uh, Justin Tibrick on the bench today. Tom Wood goes flying there over Lydia. Even reacted, but I don't think Lydia feels he's done something wrong. What did the referee think? Not sure. Opposite war button. Not saying a word. Let's get on with it. Wales have just suffered as well in attack, but just too slow in the run. As Jamie Roberts draws the man, and away goes Lloyd Williams, out of position, the scrum half on the wing, and here's Gareth Davis, he's picked it up and he's scored! What a try for Wales! Sean, a team blooming. I want to know that their nation has been waiting for this. He'll never have a better moment to have more adrenaline in the body. Bigger, he's got it, it's there! Balotel comes away, needs support. It is seconds now. Wales can count it down. Davis looks to the referee. Little glance at the clock. He's all aware. Wales are going to win this. They've done it. Bigger. Off the field. Wales have done it. They have beaten England at Twickenham in England's World Cup. And that man, Warburton, uh, what a battle ahead at the breakdown today. Huge work rate from Warburton. Uh, he's an inspiring leader who just keeps going and going. Wonderful, wonderful player. Sam Warburton, the skipper of the British and Irish Lions to Australia. He cried off for the last test. Alan Wynne-Jones stepped in as skipper. Here they come. The 39th meeting between the sides since 1908. Well, the former Cabbage Patch, the setting for Australia's epic triumph over England in 1991 World Cup final. We've hosted Lady Gaga, U2, Rihanna, the Rolling Stones and even the Jehovah's Witnesses. But today, it belongs to Australia and Wales, both hell-bent on a famous victory and top billing in the Tool of Death. Lovely strike. Scores a level. Did I dick? Here it is! George North! Try saving tackle from Foley! Foley happy to put it into the crowd. It ranks with the Wallabies 
most courageous performances. They were down to 13 men. They repelled everything thrown at them. The Wallabies with five penalty goals to Bernard Foley, two by Dan Bigger, a nine-point advantage, and they have finished on top in the pool from hell. And but Wales are doing it again. They did it four years ago in New Zealand, reaching the semi-final stage, and they're really having to dig deep into the reserves. Well, Sam Warburton, I mean, last week against Australia, it was uh, two open sides, effectively, and Sam Warburton and Justin Tipperick, Tipperick down to the bench today. And the first quarter-final in the 2015 Rugby World Cup, underway with a boots of the ball from Andre Pollard, the South African fly-half, taken in by Falatau. Pressure here, Sam Warburton ran it brilliantly, got up there on Bismarck to pursue, yep. held him up to a large right. extent. Eventually forced the ball Three, I saw that. out of his That's hands. That's why I gave you extra time to get to, to make the, the steal. Okay. Bigger, little scoop forward for himself to chase. It's landing nicely. He's judged this well, and Bigger takes it. And now Bigger hailing down in the line, and he gives it out to Gareth Davis. And Davis for the try. And Wales hit back immediately. What play from Bigger? What a finish from Davis, who keeps on scoring tries at this World Cup. South Africa get the shove on the penalty might come here. It's just being held Stay at the back down. there. Wales have to be stout. Van Mullen picks up and goes, slips it away to Fully De Bria, and De Bria for the try. And South Africa's captain may have put them into the quarterfinal semi-finals of the World Cup. Fully De Bria, a classic scrum half try. It was eight to nine to the try line, but again the South African defence. Watches and reads it well, and it's stripped, and it's South Africa's victory now. Willem Alberts, this will go out from their captain, their try scorer, and Furry Dupree sends the ball into the stands and sends South Africa into the last four of the World Cup. Wales, so brave, so close, so much they gave, but just not to be in the end, and it's South Africa who moved forward. What a quarter-final, what a test match. Well, I'm into the seat stuff. Heartbreak for the Welsh, the Welsh players and the Welsh fans. And this is the finish of it. Look at the big palmer from Warburton. And there's some extra bite in the Welsh defence too, and they've turned this over, I suspect. So this is the tackle, upended Warburton. Charteris over the top. Good pressure here, Sam Warburton ran it brilliantly, got up there on Bismarck to pursue, yep. held him up to a large extent, eventually forced the ball Three, I saw that. out of his That's hands. George North gets the pass away, Warburton will score!